the sarcophagus over the reactor hides its secrets. But venture in Pripyat. And the evidence is everywhere. The high radioactive readings begin at the city sign. This is the main square, once decorated ready for the May Day celebrations. An eerie silence is all that can be heard now. This was a bustling part of the city. Families and friends would gather here for all kinds of events. This is called Lenin Square. The stalls and the flags are gone now. We are now approaching the elegant curved walkway that leads to the cultural center. This is an iconic feature located on the edge of the square. There are radiation signs everywhere. This is the cultural center, on Lenin Square, the iconic Ferris wheel is situated to the rear of the building. The interior is not safe to enter as some of the supports are crumbling. Moving over the city you can see how nature has taken over. Trees are taking root on the rooftops. Some of the trees are growing in soil only a few inches deep. A testament to how nature can reclaim an abandoned site. Even though it is heavily contaminated with radiation. There is even a tree growing out of a top floor balcony. Pripyat covers just over three square miles. It's difficult to make out the roads and pathways now. The lampposts that used to mark the edge of those roads and paths are now found amongst the trees. Flying over the city shows how vast it is, and it's not possible to explore all of it in the limited time we had here. The hospital bore the first casualties from the explosion. They were ill prepared for the incoming patients. Desks and tables lay scattered. Towels and bedding used to treat the burn victims still lie on the hospital floor. Cots for newborn babies lie empty. There is a strange smell in the hospital that stays with you for weeks afterwards. It's like something I have never smelt before. One person even described it as the smell of death, I don't know about that, maybe they are right. A whole day could be spent exploring the hospital, but we only had a limited time here. After a while you find yourself looking forward to getting out in the fresh air. In part 2, we will take a quick look at the ferris wheel, then venture into the surrounding areas of Pripyat.